Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. What, what a week. Yeah. What a week we have gone through together. We had the revelations from Bob Woodward's book that confirmed everything we thought was happening was happening. Bob Woodward, by the way, he'll be here on Monday, right? He'll, he's my guest on Monday over there. We're going to be talking to him about the book uh, Fear, Fear. Then, uh, what else happened this week? We had an op-ed in the New York Times from an anonymous Trump administration official saying, yeah, it, yeah, it is happening. You know, <laughs> hell of a week, yeah, you know? big week, man. Oh, the memories. <laughs> oh, the memories. Let's, uh, let's get rid of those right now. Mm. <laughs> And with all that going on, you might have missed that Congress held hearings with social media giants. Committee members spoke with Facebook COO and woman who can't believe you're explaining Star Wars to her, <laughs> Sheryl Sandberg, and Twitter CEO and Rip Van Hipster Jack Dorsey. <laughs> to combat fraud, Dorsey said Twitter's been developing tactical solutions like identification of many forms of manipulation intending to artificially amplify information, more transparency around who buys ads and how they're targeted, and challenging suspicious logins and account creation. It sounds great. But when do we get to edit tweets? <laughs> because two years ago, I tweeted, I love the bachelor. <laughs> now it's there forever. It's going to be on my damn tombstone. <laughs> I do love the bachelor, by the way. <laughs> and the bachelor bet. But conservatives are much more concerned that Twitter might be silencing right-wing tweets with something they call shadow banning. <laughs> not to be confused with shadow bannon, which is not a thing because Steve Bannon does not cast a shadow. <laughs> now, here's the deal. Twitter is a private company. They're not obligated to publish your every thought. But one right-wing activist got a little upset at the hearing. Ma'am, if you'll please take a seat or we'll have to have you... Then you'll Mr. need President to relieve. Donald Trump, help us. Please help us, Mr. President, before it is too late, because Jack Dorsey is trying to influence the election, huh? to sway the election. What's she saying? I can't Democrats understand her. What? The election. But this protester was no match for Missouri Representative and Humpty Dumpty, who landed safely <laughs> and followed his dream into politics, Billy Long. Watch how Representative Long helped call the room back to order. What? Wow. That is beautiful. That's beautiful. Not only did he successfully shut her down, I think he also sold her to a factory farm. <laughs> mm -hmm. The crazy also spilled outside the chambers into the hallways where Florida Senator Marco Rubio was confronted by alt-right conspiracy theorist and man whose porn name is Lance Boyle. <laughs> Alex Jones. Jones has been permanently banned from Twitter at this point and his official pages were removed from Facebook. So he ambushed Rubio to... I don't know what, to... He ambushed Rubio to, to fix it? What about the Democrats purging conservatives? The, the, um... She's not answering him. Just, the Republicans are acting like it isn't happening. Thank God Trump is. Well, it's weird, man. I just don't know who you are, man. They, I don't read yeah, weird sure, websites. Sure, and they demonized so let me, me in these well, very here, hearings, here's the question. and then he plays here's dumb. Here's the question. Infowars.com, you, you know what it is. Do you think that does, does Google, does Facebook, does That's Twitter, why you do they need to be regulated like, 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 like do, do they need to be regulated? <laughs> Marco Rubio, the <laughs> snake. This is dumbass. boy here. All right, man. Who are you, man? Who is this guy? I swear to God, I don't know who you are, man. You better hope you deplatforming. Tens of millions of views. Infowars. Better than Rush Limbaugh. He knows who Infowars is. Yeah, everybody knows what Infowars is. <laughs> Tens of millions of views. That's not even counting the mole people watching my live feed on the micro screens on the bottom of my feet. Marco Rubio is a snake man. Come on, unhinge that jaw, Mark Rocco. Swallow me, swallow me whole. I'm delicious. <laughs> then, <laughs> snake. Come on, Tuck. Come on, Tuck. 
actually hurts to do. Stop. Look, I eat it out of blood in my veins. Then, <laughs> Jones took it a little too far. -er. But Playing you, this joke over here. That's why hey, the deplatforming didn't work. But, but, you, but you, here's, here's the question. Here's the question. Wait, don't touch me again, man. I'm asking you not to touch me. Well, sure, I'll just pat you nicely. I know, but I don't want to be. I don't know oh, you. you mean, to get I don't know who you are. It's not just good You're not going to get arrested, amendment. man. You're it's not, not going to get arrested. I'll take, take care amendment. of it myself. Oh, oh, he'll beat me up. Marco, Marco, I get wanting to punch Alex Jones. Everybody does. But violence is not the answer. The next time you encounter a whack job, just shut him down like this. Should I have a First Amendment, or should these companies be able to, to violate the whole Safe Arbor Act and all that and then ban conservatives in mass? I don't know how many in 12 and a half, 15, 7 and a half. <laughs> About the First Amendment. Cut three and a quarter now, half, half, three and a half. Gonna buy 400. Yeah. I think that's speaking in tongues. Yeah, that's I think that's the gift of the Holy Spirit right there.